here, Sully here. Welcome to Transitions, my YouTube channel. I'd like to welcome any and all new subscribers, and if you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you will get to see more of what I'm doing as a retired truck driver. Uh, yesterday, I met up with a couple of old friends, fellows I haven't seen in a while, and these are uh, some very good friends of mine. Uh, my friend Bob lives down in Delaware. He lives right on the water down there, and he has a uh, roommate that puts out crab pots. And he's catching all kinds of crabs down there. And Bob brought me up a dozen crabs, and I decided I would uh, heat some of them up and eat them yesterday. I, I mean, sometimes if you, you get them already cooked and they're cold, they're fine to eat that way, but I like them hot. So I reheated these crabs, and... You're about to watch a video of me digging in to these delicious crabs. So, stay tuned for an Epicurean delight. And I hope it makes you jealous. <laughs> Okay, so, got a dozen crabs from my friend Bob, he told me just go ahead and eat them cold, but I decided to warm them up a little bit because I like them hot, so I heated up half a dozen of them, and I got some juice here, hold on just a second, I gotta get something to crack these with, so I got, so I got a knife here, just a kitchen knife and a uh, little corn holder that I'm going to use to uh, do some picking. I'm about to chat on these crabs. They're good size. They're all legal size. Uh, I would call these number ones. Well, there, there are a few horses in here. That one looks pretty good. So let's. Uh, Try one of these crabs. They're 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 hot, and I do like them hot. Hmm, mm, it's good. And these crabs apparently. Close to shedding stage because they're, they're, the shells are pretty thick on them. Mm. Now, Bob gave them to me already cooked. Hey Johnny, be good. I'll bet you these are better than your wife's egg rolls. And your wife's egg rolls taste pretty good. So, crabs caught. In the Indian River Inlet in Delaware Bay. Or, mm. Oh, that's good. Now I'm using this pizza box to catch the uh, shells because the thing about eating crabs is. You'll wind up with a pile of shells, bigger 
and the pile of crabs you started out with. Ooh. Now there's a piece of meat right out of the claw. Mmm. So good. I think one of the most gratifying smells out there is crabs cooking in Old Bay. I think they did a uh, survey of uh, prisoners or about or people who, if you were a prisoner and you were condemned to death, and you had to pick your last meal, what would it be? I mean, people who've ever eaten blue crabs from out of the Chesapeake Bay region would pick blue crabs as their last meal. And I certainly would. Mm. I wish uh, though, that these crabs just had a little bit thinner shells. If they had been caught maybe a week later. Now these crabs were caught yesterday. And they were cooked last night. Bob called me up and said, do you want a dozen crabs? Fresh caught, fresh cooked. Now, I like my crabs hot. I like the, if you can't get them fresh, if they're refrigerated right away, as long as they're not frozen, and you get a chance to uh, get at them, I, I like to warm them up. Now, so I heated up half a dozen. That's, that's a good number one, but look at the size of those claws. That's pretty good. That would be a number one. And crabs about that size, even along Chesapeake Bay, they go about $40 for a dozen. So you figure you get six and a half dozen in a bushel. You probably pay $300 for a bushel of that. I used to remember when a bushel of crabs was between $80 and $100, and the crabs about that size. Oh, just pulled a chunk of back fit out when I pulled that, that claw out. Mmm. You know what? I bet you people wish you were me. Ah, pulled that nice piece. Nice piece of claw meat out of that one. Mm. I'll tell you what, this video is going to uh, Test my editing skills. Because you're not going to want to see all everything that I'm doing here. Now I'm just keeping the camera running. I am going to snip out little bits. Mm. I was watching a live feed from the Eagles practice today. It seems that Nelson Aguilar and Alshon Jeffrey
have a third stooge to add to the act, a fellow by the name of Deshaun Jackson. who has been involved in more than a few of the most memorable plays in the history of the Philadelphia Eagles. So we're about, let's see, one more day left in July, 31 in August, in September, so that's 39. We're 40 days away from opening day. Piece of back fin came out with the claw. Mm. Even if you reheat the crabs, it's good to have a little juice, you know. Move the zipper. Always good to have a little juice to dip the crab meat in. That's just plain water in old bag. Tell you what, tomorrow morning when I wake up, my apartment's gonna smell either really good or really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put these shells somewhere. Can I do my little picker? There it is. Okay, I wish I had some corn. Ain't nothing goes better with crab than corn. Hmm. I really don't know who the genius was when we invented old base seasoning, but if we were a civilized per uh, society, that person would be king. That pile's getting bigger and bigger. Oh, we still got a left. I know somewhere I got a uh, walnut cracker, but and that would be better than just cracking them in my mouth. Mm. I tried to do a little songwriting earlier today. I was working on a song that I've been writing for about a month because I think it needs a couple more verses. But I was noodling around with it and I found a totally different melody. And it seems to work better with what I have so far. So, be on the lookout for a new original song. All I will tell you at this point is the name of the song that I'm, I'm working on right now. I'm going to call it Joyful Noise. And it's going to be a tribute to a particular Sometimes I don't know what I like better, club eat or back fin. The song is going to be a tribute to one particular American rock and roll band. A band which in my opinion is the best, probably the most successful anyway, the most successful all-American rock and roll band. And I'll leave you to guess what that band is. If you can uh, guess in the comments, you want to offer
for a guess, feel free. I'll let you know if you uh, are close. Just have to remember that I uh, came of age in uh, the early 70s, mid 70s. Think about what rock and roll bands, what American rock and roll bands are. And if you see some of my videos or some other stuff you heard about me and know about me, you might get a clue. As what rock and roll band I'm talking about, but you'll hear about. It. Like I said, the the name of the song, the working title of the song, is um as I'm doing it right now, is called Joyful Noise. Give you a clue. Of all the bands in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they probably had the fewest number one hits. And in fact, they were in existence for almost 20 years before they had anything that even came close to number one hit. Another hint is, while some of the members of this band have passed away, other ones are still alive and still touring. Technically, it's this band, but they tour under a slightly different name. You ever watch your own videos with the sound turned down? I don't know if you can get YouTube on your TV. I can. If your uh, your cable TV provider is Comcast and you use the Xfinity platform, you should be able to see YouTube on your TV. And I have a 55-inch TV here in my living room. And I'm looking at one of my videos right now, so it's kind of odd to see myself on this big screen TV. And I'm also very pleased at the quality of the video shot from this camera, although the price I have to pay to get the quality is it takes me forever and a year and a day to upload the videos. I upload my videos in 1080p, 60fps. Now, I was using my phone to make these videos, and if you see some of those videos I made with my phone, you probably heard me bitch about it a lot. So, part of the reason I went out to get something that resembles a job during my retirement, hmm, was I have enough money get some decent gear now like I said I'm still anybody wants to donate some gear to me you'll find a link in uh, the description that has my mailing address you know I, I, I would accept any d donations the camera I have now it's it's better than my phone it's a little more flexible. I can upload the videos immediately. You don't have to wait for them to process through Google Photos.
But that doesn't mean that's where I'm ending. Oh god, these crabs are good. Hold on just a second, I have to get a beer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so didn't I have enough beer today with Leonardo and McCabe? You know, we spent our time talking about people that we used to know who were dead. Now, Dennis, Bob, and I all dated one woman. We all went out with the same girl at some point in our lives. And that would be uh, Patty Furka. Uh, she's the, uh, the woman I named my electric guitar for, a Jersey girl. And Bob went with her for a while, and I think Dennis dated her once or twice. Well, anyway, we talked a lot about people that we used to see, we used to know over at Alberts. Alberts is uh, long gone. And uh, that was a fun place to hang out. We used to watch a lot of Eagles games there. We used to go there on Friday nights, Wednesday nights for uh, karaoke. Bob and I used to get up on stage and uh, do Charlie Brown. And we called ourselves the Coney Island Whitefish. That's where Coney Island Whitefish Productions comes from. Just a joke. So anyway, with my Super Bowl 52, World Champion Eagles glass and a 16 ounce pounder of Yingling Black and Tan. Sixty percent Yingling Porter, forty percent Yingling Premium. I used to, I guess I told you, I used to live in the, the Pottsville area. I used to go to a bar in Pottsville. It was called Maroons, named for the 1925 World Champion Pottsville Maroons. Yeah, they believe it or not, before the Steelers, before the Eagles, there was another world champion football team in Pennsylvania. Look up the Maroons. Google Pottsville Maroons. That's a good story. Maybe I'll do a video with the Pottsville Maroons. There's a, a really good book called Breaker Boys. And maybe I'll do a video on the Pottsville Maroons. It's not going to be hard to research because I, I do know the topic well. But anyway, I'm going to swallow a little bit of this evening black and tan. Slancha Valle, Selfada, Svesson, Aaron. For those of you who don't speak Gaelic, that means good health, long life, and may you die in Ireland. I normally don't go to Randy's during the week. That's that's a, a Saturday and maybe during the football season, a Sunday, watch an Eagles game there. Although <clears throat> it's just as I, now that I'm retired, uh, it'll just be easier for me to watch Eagles games here at home. But I haven't been there on a weekday in a long time. Kind of a different vibe, but seeing uh, Sandra in there working was kind of nice. Hanging out with uh, Bob and Dennis was pretty neat because, you know, we used to hang out in Alberts. We hung out at Nick's, the original Nick's on Cotman. Uh, not the uh, Nick's that's now at uh, Philadelphia Mills, formerly Franklin Mills. It used to be Katie O'Shea's. Or Kitty O'Donnell's. Kitty O'Shea's is, is Brittingham's. As far as I know, Brittingham's is still there. Kitty O'Donnell's. They got a little financial trouble. They had to sell out. I remember my friends all well, wanted to go to Kitty O'Donnell's for St. Patrick's Day to see Blackthorn. Blackthorn is sort of a legend in this area.
and it had been since the 80s, but I had never seen them. So, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, and apparently what we saw was not the full band, just a partial band show. I, I can tell you, I wasn't impressed. I, who have put on shows at bars on St. Patrick's Day, I was actually paid for the um, service. So anyway, so that's what a half a dozen crabs look like after you get done eating them. Now, for scale, that's a 16-inch uh, pizza box. And the, the half dozen crabs just about filled that plate. And you see how many shells. It seems like the, the amount of shells you get compared to what you uh, started with, uh, it, just, it just doesn't make sense how I can get that much. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun picking that meat out of those shells. And very tasty, very fresh crabs.